in effect. Taco homies. You know this man. Dustin Plates. Mango Asan. I'm back in effect, you know. Under the weather last week, so. You know, had to take care of that, get right. I'm glad you're tuning in with us. How y'all been? And I kind of lost something. If you can find it for me, I would love that. I lost my <laughs> beard. So please, please, if you see my beard, <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. But yo, it's good to be back, you know, doing our thing. And uh, we got a good show for you today. We got yeah. some things to talk about. Got some good stuff. Yeah, we really do. So, what we gonna start off with, my man? First, um, just giving a reminder, I know that we're getting a lot of, or not, not necessarily a lot of, but we're getting some new viewers, and, um, I just wanna thank say, you. yeah, yeah, thank you, and, uh, I just wanna let people know that we do put out our videos every Wednesday, and if we have plans to put them out before that, or after that, yeah, we usually try to let you guys know a week ahead of time, like when we did the Maypack fight, we said we we start we planned it out two weeks ahead of time and said, you know we're gonna we're gonna record on Sunday and we're gonna put it out on Sunday right. instead of doing our, our normal record on Tuesday put it out on Wednesday thing. So just letting everybody know both videos you know our regular show and our bonus show every Wednesday and un unless something comes up and if and if there's a big event or something like I said we'll let you know ahead of time whenever you know we're we're not about surprises or nothing nothing like that. But uh, so the first thing, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff has been going on, a lot of controversy in the NFL. A lot of controversy. A lot of controversy with the the Tom Brady Deflate Gate. Deflate Gate. Ah. Yeah. What is up with this uh, this whole thing? I mean, you know my opinion. It's gonna beat the shit out of the Colts regardless. Mm -hmm. But why do you guys keep getting caught up in the stupidest bullshit? I mean, yeah. you know, I know a lot of stuff happens in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Just like. Shh, a lot of teams do things. I guarantee that, they're not the only team oh, definitely that not. in football. Definitely not, you know. But these dummies keep getting caught. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean, how do you feel about the punishment, though? I mean, to me, for getting caught, it should be more games. You I, know that's what, what I, mean? I thought. That's what I thought. It myself. should be eight games. Fuck they that said four that, shit. Thing. They said that they would have. if he would have came out clean and admitted that he fucked up, Yeah. they would have only given him one game. The reason that he got three extra games is because he lied. That's what they're yeah. saying. That's that's the the skeptical the thing. Like that's what they're saying. Yeah. Um, but man, I was really hoping for six to eight. Yes. Just because, like, the, the the thing people gotta understand is that game came down to the last possession, mm -hmm. and the Colts could have went on to to the Super Bowl, and they they might have won, or, or vice versa. I, I mean, Maybe to me, I, I just don't. Yeah, it Col altered. Colts are going to get whooped yeah. out regardless. But, I mean, you got to look at it like this, too. Where's the defense? I don't care if it was a tennis ball being thrown. Yeah. You know, they were going to whoop the Colts regardless. You know what I'm saying? And if you really watch the game for mm -hmm. all you football fans out there, they the ran, Garrett the, ball, Blunt bunch. ran yeah. the ball. Yeah, they ran a whole bunch. I mean, like, what he had? Something like 45 so it's like, or something crazy? Either yeah. way. You know, it, it probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Yeah. But being that it's a, it's a playoff game, it's right. a big game, the game before the Super Bowl. Right. My thing is just the stupidity. Yeah. Don't get caught doing shit, man. And you yeah. guys always are the center of attention, like, with something, you know? So. Like they, like they say, like, Jerry, <coughs> Jerry Rice admitted to using a stick on his glove. Yeah. After he retired, the dude never got, got caught right. doing the shit. And then right. he, greatest re wide receiver ever. Yeah. And he had stick them on his gloves. Like, yeah. So who knows how much of that was really him and how much of that was whatever was. like. Yeah. And that that's the thing. is like when dudes have that shit on their gloves, it's freaking obvious. But yeah. this dude, he must have been an architect with how he was putting put it on like there. Little yeah, for real, like putting like a line or something <laughs> before each play or something just yeah. in case. Yeah. I don't know. But man, to have gone a whole career. I mean, I don't know exactly how much of his career he used it. It could have just been one game. It could have been who knows. Yeah. But he admitted to doing it. Game. I'm sure. Not yeah. taking nothing away from Jerry. Yeah, he's, not at all. He's a playmaker, yeah. so yeah. you know he, he had to get up there to get through. the balls. But regardless, you know, it is what it is. To me, you know, competition is competition. Yeah. I mean, 
get the flake balls, stick them, you know, whatever. You know, it's it's the other team's fault if they get that ass whooped. Sorry, you know, Spygate. Hey, okay, they know some plays, but at the same time, you know, it didn't work all the time. I did it. It's been them years where you know Patriots, you know, the first round knockouts or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, eh, whatever. Fuck them. The game. The rapper, not Triple H. The, <laughs> the rapper game, yeah. whatever you want to call him. Yeah. Uh, he visited Ferguson, Missouri. Um, most recently known for all the, you know, hands up, don't shoot me. You know, dude got gunned down by cops bullshit. And, you know, they're, they're going through all their own issues and really trying to rebuild as a society. Right. Well, he came through and uh, he came up with this idea that he was going to buy 100 Happy Meals at, at a local McDonald's there. And then he was going to work at that McDonald's and, and serve the people that came by and, you know, trying to cheer up the place, you know, trying to give some, right. just a little light of kudos to positivity. You, and, I mean, right. to me, he's the the last rapper I would even see doing something like that. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. But, you know, it, it was, it was kind of nice, you know, to see him do it. And he said, oh, they're, they're like, what are you doing? He said, I'm cooking chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it, it was just really cool, and then, and then oh, the day after, everyone's like, oh shit, he was cooking them chicken nuggets, he didn't put the gloves on. Like, everybody <laughs> knows you gotta put the gloves on in case it flashes up. So they're saying they might even use it as part of their training video, what not to do. <laughs> but yeah, hands uh, up to him, I mean, yeah, big up, that's great, man. you know. You know, yeah. do what you can do. And it's not even his community, which which is what gets me. It's on the right. other side of the country. Yeah. You know, you're talking about, you know, this dude's from, from California. Yeah. You know, this, this stuff is going on in Missouri. And you know, so that's good that's, looking right there. Yeah, that's know. real cool. Yeah. You know, he does a lot of charity stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's one thing about him that, you know, other than being, you know, he's, he makes great music. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a big hearted guy, man. You know, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. So big up to the game. Word up. Tacos. Can I can I say it now? Can I can I can I? Can yeah. I please? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the Rockets. Yeah. Whew. Los Angeles Clippers. I'm gonna have to get up on the camera with this one. What the fuck was that shit? I mean how do you blow a game like that? I mean I'm ready to turn the channel, but something said, you know what, Chad? Let's watch this game. <laughs> At the time, it was a 14-point lead. Now, what I understand, before I turned it on, they were up by 19. How do you throw away something like that, man? You could have ended it. You guys would have been early off in mm -hmm. to the finals. You get some rest, get to practice, you know. Unbelievable. You deserve to lose that series. I mean, you know, I said it. If they take it back to Houston, it's a wrap. You know, Josh Smith came alive at the mm -hmm. perfect time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like somebody just hit a switch, and you guys switched, and Momentum. you guys just, just lost everything. You couldn't block. You couldn't shoot. You couldn't dunk. People getting their shit smacked in the... Yo, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. I love Doc Rivers. I love you. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Chris Paul fan. But that was atrocious, and you guys really, honestly, you deserve to lose the series after losing that game six. I don't care. Sorry. That was horrible. <clears throat> Shame on y'all. I've been saying since day one of the playoffs, I'm still rooting for the Rockets to win it all. Um, I'm seeing a potential for a, another upset between LeBron and Dwight Howard, like, way back in the Eastern Conference Finals when... When the Magic beat the Cavs, I'm seeing ah, something like that. I think it was 2010. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I'm th I'm th I'm seeing another I'm seeing another re you know I'm seeing that happen again, you know because yeah. but sh you know who I'm pulling I mean, for Kevin Love down, Kyrie Irving nobody I mean they're saying he's coming back in Game One but nobody knows for sure. Right. You know, I think the Cavs are gonna beat the Hawks even if they didn't have Kyrie Irving. I still think that they got what it takes to beat the Hawks. Yeah. But do they got what it takes to beat the Rockets? If the Rockets go into the finals. We're gonna see. I mean, they still got that 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 
the roadblock called Golden State, man. I mean, yeah. oh, Stephon yeah. Curry yeah. is yo. And man, that's it, what I'm saying. I want to put it on record right now. He is like. It's unbelievable. I mean, the, his, his basket awareness, wherever he is, mm -hmm. behind him, here, there, I've never oh, seen that. Yeah. I've seen it, but not yeah. to that magnitude. The like dude every crazy. game, every time he has the ball, yeah. he knows what he he's doing. He knows exactly right. where the basket is. Yeah, all the you time. Know? That's crazy. It's like, I try to think of like people that that he kind of reminds me of. And of course, I think of like Reggie Miller. A little bit. I thought of that. But my too. whole thing is, I think he's better than Reggie no, Miller. No, no. The way he shoots the ball. It. Come on. That wasn't a half-court yeah. shot, people. He's that was trying. a full-court shot. Did y'all see, see that? As long as this dude is healthy Come and he on, has man. a long career, yeah. he's going to be the greatest shooter of all time. Yes, absolutely. He's going to kill Ray Allen's record. Yes. And, I mean, I think he'll just be known as the greatest shooter I of all I don't think time. he's like one of those... Because he's knocking him down from 30 feet out. Like one of those injury-prone type of players? He's, I, he's, I hope not. He's not even on the three-point line. Yeah. He's, he's two he's, steps he's, back. Yes, exactly. He's just, He's ridiculous, you know. He's definitely... One of my favorites right now. Yeah. Absolutely. He's awesome. Awesome to watch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, I, I said it. I think Cleveland's going to end up taking it all. And they, they very well could. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, the way I see it is the Rockets and the Warriors are going to have a great series. Yeah. This, this series is going to be great. James Harden, Dwight Howard, yeah. Stephon Curry. I mean, there's so many names in this series. To me, though, I don't know if the Warriors can beat the Cavs in the finals. I'm not sure if they can. I feel like if LeBron deed up on Stephon Curry, mm -hmm. he might have a hard time hitting some of them shots. I mean, that's all you got to do. If you disrupt him, yeah. in the passing game, you got to watch out for the passing oh, yeah, game with yeah. Golden State because they do pass that rock and they yeah. share. And that's why thing. they're at and, the point where they're at right now. Right now with the Cavs, I mean, if Kyrie Irving does come back and, he's, and he becomes healthy enough to be 100% in yeah. the finals, I mean, you could switch off, have Kyrie guard him a couple plays, have LeBron guard him a couple plays, right. and see who does better. I think he's taking a little rest, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, that could be. You might as well. You got you know, yeah. wait till the, the mm -hmm. game that really, you know what I mean? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I, I'm going with Cleveland. I, I like mm -hmm. LeBron. You either love him or you hate this man. You know, I'm a LeBron fan, you know. I wish he was a sixer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish anybody was a fucking sixer right about now. Nah, I take Dr. J right now. You hear me? Charles Barkley, baby. We'll take you back. Yeah, it's like I say. <laughs> as a person and as a competitor, you got to love, love LeBron. You got to respect LeBron. Yes. You know, me, I, I don't like him just because he's on another team. Yeah. Nah, that's enough for me to say, I don't like Oh, that. no, no, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know. I say the same thing about Stephon Curry. Like, yeah. he's playing the Golden but, State. See, I just, you know, the thing is, they say he's arrogant and all that. It's not him. It's the media that puts yeah. all this stuff, you know, on him. And, you know, they made a big deal about him calling his own play to, you know, the little uh, buzzer beater there. Or uh, fourth quarter shot there. And... Okay, so he said it. Now they're running with it like he is the man. Everybody has, yeah. you know, a great player My has changed their play and said they changed the play, but they just want to kind of, you know, build them up, just break them down. You know what I mean? Like so, if you go back the last couple of LeBron. generations, if you go back the last couple of generations and you pick out that one player that kind of defied that generation, yeah. to me, LeBron is the most humble out of all of them. Thank you. Like, if you go back and you look at Kobe, he's an arrogant son of a bitch. No, that's an arrogant motherfucker right there. Michael Jordan? Come on now. Very arrogant. I mean, yeah. Come on. I mean, there, there is a discussion going on right now that was brought up a day or two ago about could Michael Jordan right now, right now, the way he is, the age he is, beat LeBron James in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. And 30% of the people that were voting on this poll said yes. And I'm like, what? I mean... No, not right now, no. Michael Jordan's 52 years old. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that, you know, that heart of the champion type stuff. But yeah. No. No. LeBron's taller, faster, stronger. Yeah. You know, he's been playing mm -hmm. in the last four finals. Like, the dude's got experience that Jordan hasn't had in the last decade or so. Right. You know, besides... I mean, that's just, that's, just, that's dumb, though. You know what I mean? That was yeah, a, I can't believe yeah, that was even brought that, up. That was just dumb. Like, why 30%? Do you even 30, it, was, it was like 36. 
There's, I'm, like, why even entertain that? Yeah, like, that's just... To me, like, LeBron is the best player in the world. I do yeah. believe that you might be able to, like, yeah. pick some dude that's on the bench in the D yeah. League, and maybe Michael Jordan might be able to beat him, but yeah. not LeBron. Yeah. Not LeBron. Yeah. Maybe not even that's any players that are currently signed yeah. on an NBA team. I don't see it happening. Hey, day. Yeah. You could pick somebody off the bench, no. and I don't see 52-year-old Michael Jordan beat him. <laughs> right. I don't see it. You know, right. unless, you know, maybe a, a game of horse. But the, besides that, <laughs> it ain't happening. So, so speaking of that, what do you think, like, the comparisons, now, media shit again, yeah. of, you know, comparing Michael Jordan and LeBron, that's just, that's, to me, that's stupid, too, because, I mean, there's really no comparison, I mean, because, if you, statistically, you know, Michael Jordan was getting defensive and offensive mm -hmm. honors, went to the finals and never lost, Yeah. I mean, the championship games and never lost, you know. Yeah, he's a pure champion. Yeah, you know, it's just, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Because LeBron's a whole different, yeah. you know, monster. You know what I'm saying? He's taken, you know, Cleveland the first time he was there to the finals by himself. Nobody, yeah. yeah nobody. nobody. They got swept. That's why they got swept by the Spurs, you know. But, you know, He's just—he knows something, man. I mean, my whole thing. With he's LeBron, going to the finals again. I don't care yeah. what nobody says he's going again, and that'll oh, be yeah, five he, years yeah, in a row. Hawks. Him alone, five and two years. Two different teams in a row with two different teams. My whole thing is this: like to me, LeBron James is the best player in the world, and like I, I said that last week. You know, as of two or three years ago, I started to admit it. Yeah, he is the best player in the world. You know, after he won his first championship. I actually kind of felt good for him, mm -hmm. you know, as you know, this dude has been getting a lot of hate. Um, my whole thing is, I'm not cool with the dude constantly going to different teams that are, you know, already have star players or trying to build that super team. Mm -hmm. I mean, you try to, you gotta try to attract people to your place, you know, because to me, the player that had the biggest deal out of that whole Miami Heat thing was Dwayne Wade. He got people to come to come him. Yeah, right, exactly. You know, well, to me, if you're LeBron, you got these dudes coming to you. Yeah. And that's where I'm seeing it, like, yeah. you know. But at the same time, D-Wade did bow down. Yeah. And yeah. said, well, yeah. pretty much this is your team. I'm going to play it my position. It took him a little while, but it yeah. It took him a while, you know. But, yep. hey, you know. And, and they won two titles, so no one's complaining. Four appearances, two titles, that's huge. That's huge. You know, people say, well, you know, they lost two. Where was your team? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, so. Yeah. Um, you know, just stop hating on my man, LeBron. Please, stop hating on my man. For real. I mean, to me, it's like if you're gonna hate on him, hate on him because he's beating your Have team. Have a legitimate reason. Yeah. Hate on him because he's beating your team. Yes. You know, don't hate on him because he's, you know, you know, a cocky son of a bitch. Because the truth yeah. of the matter is, he's the nicest person probably in the NBA. That's what I'm saying. And he's kind of like, I mean, he doesn't even have a, a an official position in the players' union or anything like that, but he's considered to be like the ambassador of the players. Like, when something happens, you're like, we got to see what LeBron has to say about this. Mm -hmm. You know, when all that stuff was going on with Donald Sterling, what does LeBron have to say about this? You know, they're talking about, you know, increased uh, collective bargaining agreement, mm -hmm. and they're like, what does LeBron have to say about this? Even mm -hmm. though he's not even involved in what's going on in the room, they still want to know what it, what's LeBron's take. Because mm -hmm. he's kind of, you know, that guy. He's the man. He's the man. King yeah. James. Hey guys, if you enjoyed part one, make sure to stay tuned for part two.